Hey everybody, it's your old pal again, CC Trubiak, and welcome back to CC's Vinyl Closet. Here is where I just love listening to classic old country music on vinyl record, and then sharing the gospel of what I get with you guys. I discovered singer-songwriter Tom T. Hall a couple years back now, but this is the first time I'm taking time to intentionally listen to one of his albums and go back and enjoy a bit of the history of just how he became the storyteller. So sticking around to enjoy some of this sounds like your kind of thing. Grab a comfy spot to sit, pick up some coffee, turn up the volume, and let's get ready to enjoy the gospel of Tom T. Hall. Like I mentioned, I truly only discovered Tom T. Hall in the past couple years, in these times that my mind wants to soak up so many of the greats in country music history. And I've grown to really appreciate Tom T. Hall's story, and the music has a lot to offer any listener, but especially lovers of true country music. So what have I learned, and who exactly was Tom T. Hall? Thomas Hall, known professionally as Tom T. Hall, was born on May 25th, 1936, and he passed away in 2021 at the age of 85 years old. And may he rest in sweet heavenly peace. He was born in Tick Ridge, Kentucky, and from what I now understand, had such an immediate attraction and gift for music that as a teenager, he organized a band called Kentucky Travelers that performed before movies for a traveling theater show. He would enlist in the U.S. Army in 1957, serving in Germany. While in the service, he performed over the Armed Forces Radio Network, and he wrote comic songs about an array of Army experiences. Following his discharge in 1961, he used his GI Bill education benefits to enroll at college, where he worked as a disc jockey. His early career included being an announcer on several stations throughout Kentucky and West Virginia. His big songwriting break came in 1963, when a country singer named Jimmy C. Newman recorded his song, DJ For A Day. In 1964, Tom moved to Nashville, City of Dreams, and worked for 50 bucks per week as a songwriter for a publishing company. He wrote up to five songs a day, and he composed dozens of songs. Soon enough, getting the nickname, The Storyteller. One of his earliest successful songwriting achievements was Harper Valley PTA, recorded by our friend Jeannie C. Riley in 1968. Number one on the charts and sold over six million copies and won him a Grammy and a CMA award too. This song literally inspired a movie, a TV movie, pretty incredible achievement for any songwriter. Story goes, the music industry pressured Tom to become a performer, something I found quite interesting. I mean, he certainly was a natural performer. He took the plunge in 1967, signing with Mercury Records, and the rest became Tom T. Hall's history, because for most of the 1970s, he was a consistent hit maker as well as a popular concert attraction. Between 1971 and 1976, he had five number one hits. Here's the bare bones stats on his albums. Between his debut album in 1969, all the way up to about 2007, he released something like 35 plus albums. I've got a nice handful in my own collection here at CC's Vinyl Closet, some of which I've actually already listened to. But the earliest one I therefore wanted to intentionally explore with you guys was his second album called Tom T. Hall, Homecoming released on Mercury Records in 1969. Tom would have been just 33 years old in 1969, which impressed me that a young man could hold such stories, much less have a knack for songwriting and, a, and an ability to perform so engagingly. On this particular 1969 album, there are a total of 11 songs, all penned by Tom, each one demonstrating how his songwriting was as easygoing as his own demeanor. Then the best way that I can think to sum it up is to say that to listen to a Hall composition is like hearing a story told by a friend that you bumped into on the corner or caught up with over coffee. Tom T. Hall's songs could bring to life the small town existence that many of us know with such vivid color. Some of these songs made my heart ache 
and other times they made me smile. The album opens with A Week in a Country Jail, a story song with nine verses about the observations and times of a young man spending one week inside a little country jail just for speeding. One time I spent a week inside a little country jail And I don't guess I'll ever live it down I was sitting at a red light when these two men came and got me And said that I was speeding through their town Well they said tomorrow morning you can see the judge then go And they let me call one person on the phone I thought I'd be there overnight, so I just called my boss To tell him I'd be off, but not for long Well, they motioned me inside a cell with seven other guys One little barred up a window in the rear My cellmate said if they had let me bring some money in We ought to send the jailer for some beer it's pretty amazing to me how adept Tom was at these story songs, each one on this record holding rich detail. Strawberry Farms on side one, for example, is a tune that sounds a lot like something even Simon and Garfunkel could be heard doing. Or even the up-tempo Shoeshining Man, a rhythm and bluesy rocker of a song, narrated by an enthusiastic shoeshiner from Montgomery, Alabama, who boasts Tons of mad skills. Now listen to this. Well, I met a man in Montgomery, Alabama. I was waiting on a bus and he was shining shoes. And I heard him say, I'm a shoe shining man, number one in the land. A shoe shining man, make you shine when you stand. Leave me a tip if you can. I'm a shoe shining man. You inevitably fall for all these characters peppered throughout the record. One of my personal favorite tracks on this one is called simply, Nashville is a groovy little town, in which the narrator recounts losing his direction back home and finding himself lured into the charms and promises. Down on Music Row. I loved it. Check out his version. My plane sit down in Nashville. At a corner after two A little while and I'd be on My way back home to you Well, I was waiting for my flight Got out and looked around Nashville is a groovy little town I met some entertainers and they had an extra girl. I told them I was just a tourist out to see the world from one place to another. Yes, we really made the rounds. Nashville is a groovy little town. I'm in love with Tom T. Hall's voice as well. It's laced with this rich darkness and light as well, always full of love and observations. One of my final favorite stories comes from the album's title track called Homecoming, for which I really do recommend folks listen to. Anyone who has ever struck out on their own path perhaps even against their own parents' wishes, knows what Tom was getting at with homecoming. In this case, the narrator is a music man struggling to carve out a career who makes that most frightening of trips, a visit to his hometown. Only his father is alive these days, but he still feels that need for his approval, explaining in great detail how, well, he had just played a gig in San Antonio the night before, and you see his guitar player, a woman asleep in the car, drove him straight there. It's about a son who comes home and explains himself. I guess I should have written that to let you know that I was coming home. I've been gone so many years, I didn't realize you had a phone. I saw your cattle coming in. 
Boy, they're looking mighty fat and slick. I saw Fred at the service station, told me that his wife was awful sick. It seems to me that Tom T. Hall was a unique and gifted man. I was really saddened to hear that he passed away in 2021 from a self-inflicted gunshot, signifying to me even more what a truly special man he was and always will be. Not only am I grateful that I've done my homework on who this legend was, but I also was able to finally familiarize myself with his one-of-a-kind country music. He was inducted into the Kentucky Music Hall of Fame in 2002 and the Country Music Hall of Fame in 2008 and the Songwriter Hall of Fame in 2019. All well-deserved, too. Now, you can trust that I'll be spending more years soaking in all of these great albums, songs, and stories. Now, that about wraps up today's installment. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Be sure to drop your comments below and stay tuned for next week's installment of CC's Vinyl Closet. And until then, take care of you and take sweet comfort in the music.